How's it going, everybody? I read an article a couple of days ago um, dealing with this Shonen Jump Project B or J, something like that. But anyway, uh, like I said, I read this article a couple of days ago. It deals with um, animes, uh, like characters from animes and mangas coming in a game. Come all in the game. It's gonna be a fighting game. So it's anime. So it's characters from anime and a manga coming in one game, and they're like pretty much fighting each other. So pretty much it's like a Super Smash Bros. slash, you know, pushing the All Stars. You think about it, but dealing with you know Japanese um, anime or um, manga, which is like a comic book or strip. Now, um, now I think this is pretty much a it's pretty much a good idea. Because, like, you're taking characters from, like, you know, different animes. I think they added, like, you know, from uh, Goku from Dragon Ball Z. Um, you know, Naruto from Naruto, obviously. And, you know, um, Luffy, the you know, the pirate from One Piece. So, pretty much, I think this is a good idea. Um, you know, I, I, I heard back in 2004 they tried this in, on the on the GameCube, uh, I don't know how much it sold actually. I don't know how good the gameplay or the um or the review or the ratings was, but you know they attempted it before, so they pretty much have an idea what to expect and you know what to enhance on the next project. Now, um, when I read this, I thought it was pretty interesting, you know, because you're getting all these three, all these you know animes fighting together now, because now we see you know you know pushing the All Stars, you know, uh, Super Smash Bros. I guess you can put Street Fighter and Tekken in there a little bit, so pretty much you see these cl uh, these uh, crossovers on different stuff. So I think it's pretty cool, but you know, um, the one thing on my question is how many pair, how many characters are going to add? I know they're probably going to add like a whole full list of characters, but you know, I heard some people talk about the last one they added on 2004, you know, for the uh, GameCube, and there was barely you know some characters in there, but not a lot. So you know the um, the replay value wasn't really that good because of the lack of characters. Now I re I highly I highly um doubt that they're gonna do this in this one. I I see them taking it from you know different animes to put you know different characters in here. You know probably go back to old days. You know probably like Yu Yu Hakusho. Put those you know put those type of characters in there. Make a variety of characters to play from. Now, if you're a manga and an anime type of fan, you're probably going to pick this game on day one, no doubt, because, you know, you love anime, you love manga. Pretty much some people say anime is their life. But, you know, pretty much, you know, if you like that type of stuff, you're going to pick up the game. But if you don't, you, uh, many people won't pick up the game. Probably, you know, they probably won't show no interest in it because they don't really, you know, play that type of stuff. But, you know, some people I know that, like, they said they wasn't getting the new on uh, the new Dragon Ball Z collection because you know they don't really like playing you know Dragon Ball Z, but they like the show. They pick it up and they start playing. Now, if you like what you see from you know um, the animes like Naruto and One Piece and stuff like that, you might pick it up. If you don't, you know you just show no interest in it. Some people I know might pick it up just to try it out. You might know, say it's pretty cool. But you know, some people don't desire it. So pretty much, this is pretty much, I guess, for the manga and anime fans, the fan, you know, fan base people out there. I don't know about pretty much everybody else. Depends on if you like that type of, you know, anime or you know, read it, reading it. Pretty much. To me, I've been watching anime from time to time. First anime I think is probably around Dragon Ball Z. So to me, I'm gonna pick this game up because uh, today I still watch a little bit more anime. Because uh, sometimes I'm 17, so so sometimes I watch cartoons every now and then. Some cartoons today, to be honest, to some cartoons today are just plain dumb. So you know, I get online, or you know, sometimes go to you know, uh, like a Barnes and Nobles, and you know, read a manga or something like that. So you know, it interests me. I like some of the storylines, some of the characters. So you know, just tip, tip, some different type of genre. They're just like movies, and you know. It's like movies and shows and books down here, but you know, in Japanese way, it's a different. You know, it's pretty much the same, but in Japan, Japan is a little different. Like from reading a, like a manga, which is like a comic, from reading the left to right, in Japan you have to read from right to left. So you know, it's different little rules, but you know, overall, still a good experience. Um, you know, good experience, you, good experience, and people, you know, that 
read this for like years they would get into it and some people that trying it might try to get in there seems a little difficult at first but you know you really pick up the pro process so uh that's pretty much all i have to say that this new project shonen jump v or j i can't remember the uh like letter it's coming out next year it's supposed to be coming out for the ps3 for the ps vita there's no talk for the xy 360 yet uh i really hope this game you know hope this game get a variety of characters you know bring people back more and uh this is like anime it's like um you know anime jeff uh it's like an anime and a manga fan dream right here so yeah pretty much that's all i have to say thanks for watching my video hope you like it um what do you think about this uh this new project you think it's good you think it's going to sell a lot it's probably not because to be honest like some naruto games the last couple of years they came in you know u.s there wasn't really um they really didn't sell big numbers like i think one sold like a million now it's pretty a big number but you know compared to these other games today that you know got shipped off in the USS, I mean USA, and you know got made in the USA. It's pretty different, but you know overall, it's got a big fan base in the USA. So, so I believe it's gonna do pretty good. So uh, thanks for watching my video. Hope you like it. And um, KCB3, and always like always, everybody have a wonderful day.